In this episode, we're going to talk about public transportation, and more specifically, airlines, and what you need to know when it comes to bedbugs. Everybody, to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And in today's episode, we're actually going to talk about a topic that I find fascinating. Um, and if I had to put my like crystal ball in front of me and, and kind of predict the future, um, one of the things I would talk about is the airline industry, the commercial airline industry. Um, now, this episode is not in any way, shape, or form intended to single out any industry. Um, we know bed bugs can show up on public transportation of any variety. Uh, we know firsthand of buses that have had issues and subway cars or train cars that have had issues. Um, and so it can happen on any form of transportation. But the airline industry, I think, is one that's very interesting to me. And it's a very unique topic. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus my content on that industry, but it, it could happen on any, on any type of transportation. And so let's talk a little bit about it. You know, when, when we encounter or, or when the opportunity exists for, to encounter bed bugs on a commercial airline, what happens? You know, think about it. You know, let's say you're flying from New York to San Diego and you're halfway into the flight, you're three hours in, you're somewhere over probably man, Oklahoma at that point, and all of a sudden you find a bed bug walking on your leg. What do you do? Now, obviously you're going to call over a stewardess or steward and say, hey, listen, this is going on. But think about it. If the flight's sold out, what happens? Where do you go? What happens to the person sitting next to you? You know, obviously the seats are attached, and so if you have one on your leg, there's nothing saying that the person next to you doesn't have them also in their seat. What about the couple seats around you? And so, what do they do about the flight? It's a very interesting topic. And so, I am not here to tell you that airlines aren't prepared for this, but we have seen headlines about people encountering bed bugs on, you know, airlines, mid-flight, you know, whatever the case may be. And so, I find it very fascinating. Now, one thing I want to say is, this video is in no way, shape, or form intended to scare people. I would not not fly because of this risk. I think it's still extremely rare that it happens. But I think it's going to start happening a little bit more than it is now. And what happens when it does happen? And so it's kind of a call to the airlines out there that I'm, I don't know how many, if any, are watching this. You know, you need to be prepared for this. This is something that is a very sticky topic and it's not an easy one to handle. Um, so you need to have a policy and procedure in place on how this is going to be handled. Um, you know, and then, you know, once that plane lands, then what do you do? You know, usually the planes are going right back out onto the, you know, runway for another flight. You know, you're going to have to probably deal with it. And so you need to have backup planes and this, it's, it's a complicated topic, but I also think it's a fascinating one because we're seeing a little more of it nowadays. And, um, you know, it's something that I think airlines need to be prepared for. And so let's talk a little bit more about beyond airlines, you know, buses. Nothing saying a bus can't have bed bugs. You know, anybody can bring a, a bed bug onto a bus any given moment. And I know several different bus lines that have had them. Uh, subway cars, same thing. Trains, same thing. Happens. Again, no way, shape, or form would I not ride on a public transportation vehicle because of these things. Just as, as, a, as a rider, as a user, you just want to be aware. You know, if I sit in a subway, you know, before I sit down, you know, I'm, I'm in the New York metro area. So I was on the New York City subway system just last week. And, you know, before I sit down on that subway seat, I'm taking a quick look at it. I'm making sure there's no bugs obviously walking around on the surface of it. If I sit down on a bus seat, you know, I'm taking a quick look at the obvious areas as I'm sitting there, typically. If you're ever concerned you've been exposed to bed bugs, you can just, you know, go ahead when you return home, take your clothes off before you enter your home, and throw them in a hot dry cycle. That will kill any bed bugs on them. And so, God forbid, you picked one up as you, you know, were moving around in whatever vehicle, transport, transportation vehicle you were in. You know, you can always strip down and throw your stuff in a hot dry cycle, and that will kill anything on those clothes. Uh, if you had a bag with you, obviously take a quick look at the bag. Um, I'll tell you that I, I don't typically put, if I have a, I usually carry my backpack around me. If I'm on a subway car, you know, I'm not typically putting the backpack on the seat next to me or on the floor. Now listen, I can tell you firsthand that that's not necessarily because I'm concerned about bed bugs. It's because I'm concerned about all the other funk that exists on these seats and on the floor. But I'm usually putting it on my lap. Um, and so again, you know, you can always inspect your, your bag and see if there's any bugs on it. Be familiar with what they look like. Um, now airlines though, it's a little bit more complicated because your backpack is going under the seat in front of you or in the overhead, you know, your suitcase is going into the cargo space below where you're sitting. And so you have a little less control over that topic. 
Again, you can always inspect the stuff when you return home. And then of course, if you're concerned about your personal clothes, you can always throw them in a hot dry cycle. And so this video is just to say, hey, listen, I think the airline industry is an interesting topic. I hope that the airlines are paying attention to this topic. Um, you can encounter bed bugs on any public transportation vehicle. You can always, you know, take your clothes off when you return home and throw them in a hot dry cycle if you're concerned. You can always inspect whatever bags that you had with you. You can always limit the amount of things you take with you to limit that exposure. Not a reason I would ever not travel on any of these forms of transportation. You know, I think the risk of bed bugs is extremely low, but it can happen. And so if you have any questions on bed bugs on public transportation, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com. And I hope to see everybody soon enough.